So first time when we saw 3D printers was way back in 2008 um, in Portugal. Over there we visited a very renowned dentist who had his own lab as well. Um, at that time 3D printers were not very common in dentistry. Then cut to 2016 when I visited the Armed Forces Medical College for one of the conferences and uh, in Pune where we saw 3D printing. I was really amazed at how 3D printing eased the life of the patient as well as of the clinician. Then in 2018, we got an opportunity to get 3D printers on board. So we approached a few companies in the uh, United States and we got a 3D printer with us. Initially, we didn't know what to do with 3D printing. But slowly now, after four years of using 3D printers, I don't think I can practice without them. 3D printers generate models for us, these patient models which are there, they help us diagnose what we can't see with our naked Once we get the x-rays, that is the 3D scans, the CBCTs, we actually go ahead and print these 3D models. Once we print these models, we can also print the surgical guide over them. Now what are these surgical guides? These surgical guides help us visualize what is going to happen inside the bone, what is the density of the bone, what is the angulation of the bone, which otherwise we would only be able to see after surgically cutting into the gums. Now let's take a case of a 90 year old who wanted teeth. A 90 year old, there are a lot of medical complications. I would have to be very conservative in such cases. In such cases, 3D printing really helps because even with thin bone, even with weak bone, a resorbed jaw, we can now go ahead and place implants in such patients. With the help of surgical guides, now we don't have to cut into the gums. We can simply go ahead, place the implants with the help of such guides, make the treatment very conservative and give the teeth, the final teeth to the patient on the same day itself. This is how 3D printing has changed um, our life. Thank you.